uh, back at the studio, and today I am uh, was in a terrible mood due to uh, reading newspapers and looking on Facebook. So what I did was that I thought I'd try a little experiment, and that is to uh, have uh, my uh, use the modular and use a very simple sequence and send it through the uh, Mel 9 pedal and then do like a big uh, ambient thing that would be moving very very slow so this is two uh, two takes and then I'll do probably four or five of them and then I'll do a cloudy thing so what I'll do now is I'm gonna let this run and then I'll be back in a while and I'll play you the final thing all right Alright, so now I've done, now we're into like uh, five channels of this just going randomly. And what I do is that I uh, just flick the, uh, like, the stages, which ones I'm doing and playing just a bit randomly. Uh, and the idea of that is so that it constantly just changes every, every so much. So it's not five channels playing the exact same thing. And what I'm probably going to do now is that I'll uh, do a mix of this and then I'll do a phasing thing with it and then I'll pull that out through the reverb and then I might do another version where I do the same thing but using the original modular system. And what that means is that I can have two mixes, one with the Meltron or the Mel 9 and then the modular system and I can either start with the modular system and then the string cluster will come in afterwards or I'll do it the other way around and the funny thing is that if I if I want it to be a bit more accessible all I have to do is just add some kind of pulse like a, a bass drum or something and it'll give it a, a grid where the ambient stuff can move around but I'll need to figure that out <laughs> 